Hey guys. I mean, looking at the title like what? Yeah, it's crazy. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of today's video, it is going to be what it is like being on academic probation at Valdosta State University. I wanted to talk about this on my channel for the longest time, but I really wanted to get the semester over with before I sat down and talked to you guys about it. I know a lot of students are coming to VSU as freshmen and a lot of them are probably going to end up on academic probation as one myself. I don't think a lot of oh, my battery's about to go dead. Hold on. Sorry if the angle just changed a little bit but we're back I uh, hopefully charged I just got new ones anyway so like I was saying I just wanted to wait until I finished the semester I was off of academic probation I know like I'm supposed to be posting summer videos but I thought this was a really good video to film right now because it's fresh on my mind I feel like after about three months I would have forgot all the information that I wanted to tell you guys so first what is academic probation so there's like three different like levels or four different levels academic standing the bottom one is anything below a 1.0 GPA you are suspended from the school anything between a one like a 1.1 to a 2.0 you are on academic probation anything from a 2.1 to a 3.0 is good academic standing and anything from a 3.1 to a 4.0 you're like on the dean's list or something like that i think it's a 3.5 to be honest you're on the dean's list i'm not sure i put up the actual scale right here i just know that i was on academic probation because my gpa was a 1.61 from last semester i don't I don't ha technically have all the grades that I made from my first semester at VSU but I will try to find them and I'll put them up here again to show you guys how bad I did last semester like yeah there was like an A and a B in there but still like an A and a B doesn't make up for an F and a D like it doesn't weigh out the same it is okay to fail classes but if you fail one class please make sure you make it up in another class kind of thing first of all when I figured out that I was on academic probation it was the like middle December because we went home last semester after Thanksgiving like for Thanksgiving break we just didn't return to campus because they didn't want to bring COVID back to campus if anybody had it so we just stayed off campus and in between the month of November and January I realized that I was on academic probation they sent me emails they sent me something in the mail they sent me text messages and it was like you have to sign up for this class and it's called keys to college success class that's how I knew um I kind of knew in advance because my grades were so bad and me trying to accommodate to college I knew it was gonna be really bad I knew that I was doing really bad so I knew I was gonna end up some kind of way on academic probation either academic probation getting suspended something like that what I needed to do when I was on academic probation some people didn't have to take the keys to college success class because there was just too many people because it was literally right after COVID everybody was trying to get accustomed from online class to in-person classes again but people were trying to get accommodated to it and there were so many people that were on academic probation some people had to take the class some people didn't I was the one of the person that got to take the class and I'm thankful that I did take the class because I learned a lot of valuable information from that class I just had to take a keys to college success class it was worth one credit hour or two credit hours I think it's two credit hours I have a screenshot of my grades from the semester and it shows me my credit hours so let me find that real quick so it was worth two credit hours it was pretty easy class I made an A in it I had like a 90 like a 99 probably 98 because I missed a couple days here and there my teacher I'm so thankful I had this teacher Mr. Burley if you're watching this probably not but thank you you. you were an amazing teacher I love you so much it was pretty easy it was pretty chill like we all we had to do was really show up for class and tell them how we were doing in class we had a couple projects here and there it wasn't like a big big deal I would say it's a big deal for the people that are in the class but like the class itself wasn't like a oh my god work overload like I have to do this I have to do this I have to keep my grades here I have to keep my grades here it wasn't like that we just went in the class my classes were Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 30 to 1 15 every Tuesday we'd go in there and tell them how our how our week was going what we did that weekend blah 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 we'd have just like real chit chatty class times it really made me feel more comfortable knowing that I wasn't the only person that felt this type of way that did this or like how they fell into academic probation it was just like uh oh my god I'm not alone in this situation now I'm gonna tell you guys what I did differently from last semester to this semester fall 2020 semester I didn't plan at all okay coming from a 
big planner i didn't plan college i was i came straight out of a technical college because i took like a gap year or like i wouldn't even call it a gap year like i took classes but like it was like a year and i took like three semesters and i only took like nine classes maybe so i wouldn't consider it a gap year but i would consider it like a year off i don't know but i went from a technical college where i didn't plan i just went in there and was like there's my work where's my work it wasn't like big projects in technical college and i went to a university thinking the same thing you literally can't see me when i said big projects i meant like it was like i had to fill in this or i had to fill in that it wasn't like oh i have to like go do research for this paper or i have to actually think about this paper it was just like watch a video fill in this turn it in kind of thing that's what i meant i don't know what the I was saying that's where I messed up I used to procrastinate a lot in a technical college and I brought that to a university I was more worried about how I looked like how I like presented myself than the work I presented so I would get up get dressed get just cute put my makeup on do this do that and I'd end up either being late for class or not going to class closer to the end of the semester of fall 2020 I just stopped going to class because I thought it was just acceptable I guess you could I was just like I don't care like I no, I'm not going to class no I'm not doing this no I'm not doing that and I just skipped out on a lot a lot of homework it wasn't a good time in my life either because I had to get accommodated to being away from my family and I've never been away from my family for more than a week not seeing my nephew grow up was putting a lot of pressure on me and even though I looked happy to a lot of people I really wasn't and it was showing through my schoolwork so going into spring 2021 everything I just told you about I switched gears being in the semester I was like I'm not gonna be on academic probation because I don't want to have that title above my above my head I just didn't want to be on academic probation anymore and I set my mind at the beginning of the semester and I was like I'm not gonna do it I'm not going to be on academic probation anymore so I set my mind and I came out successful <laughs> I started planning a lot. I made a weekly to-do list and I made a daily to-do list every day. I don't know where it is. So at the beginning of the semester, I went through all the rubrics, all the, and I figured out every single assignment and I wrote them in this agenda. Every week I would pull out that agenda, cross off everything that I did, and then write a new to-do list for the week on another, in another book. And then every day I'd wake up and make a to-do list for today. It just helped me like make sure I knew what I needed to do that day to be prepared for what was coming up that week if you don't get anything else out of this video please plan that's my one, number one tip plan accordingly make sure you're not procrastinating anything it's certain times for schoolwork and then it's certain times for partying make sure you know when you're partying and when you're doing schoolwork like with the to-do list for a week I knew what was due that week and when I needed to do it by just say I have like a math worksheet or something I had to do by like Thursday I do it on like Monday and then I'll turn it in check that off to-do list so I knew I was done with that if I had like an essay or something I had to write and if it was due by like Wednesday I'd make sure I do that before I did the math that was due Thursday kind of thing Hold on, I need my coffee and my feet are going on this cup my mom gave me it says to my daughter when life gets hard and you feel all alone remember that you mean the world to me be brave have courage and love life my mom gave me this for christmas even though i knew about it she literally ordered it off my amazon because i have amazon prom <laughs> i just wanted to throw this in there for vsu you have to at least have four classes or at least 10 credit hours tell me why all of our advisors made us have at least 14 credit hours like 14 credit hours like I understand like maybe I want to drop one or two but like 14 credit hours like my first official schedule I had seven classes seven classes for somebody that's on academic probation that is insane so I ended up dropping one and ended up having six classes this semester one was the uh, keys to college success and then one was a lab and one was online anybody that's on academic probation and you're watching this you do not need to push yourself if you only can handle four classes only take four classes if you can only handle three classes and you have 10 credit hours only take three classes and have 10 credit hours I don't understand why I felt the need to take six classes but I felt the need to take six classes so I took six classes but I did come out with a bunch of good grades and I'm so proud of myself and I will not ever like I will not ever em underestimate myself ever again I think that's all that I want to talk to you guys about I did not make a list and I should have and if I have any more information that comes to mind I'll put it in like right here 
do want to say don't be embarrassed to be on academic probation I was like really embarrassed and I didn't tell any of my friends besides like my best friend and like obviously my parents all my friends didn't know y'all didn't know like I was just kind of embarrassed to be on academic probation but like in the end it is okay if you are getting the help that you need I don't see why you should be embarrassed to be like oh yeah I'm on academic probation I'm helping myself I'm taking this class I'm doing this to improve just don't be embarrassed obviously this is going to be online for a while so just don't be embarrassed it's fine <laughs> for the moment you have been waiting for i'm gonna tell you guys my classes that i took for spring 2021 20, credit hours for those classes and my grades and then i'm gonna tell you my overall gpa and then my semester gpa one of these classes i was pissed about because it, it's a long story if you want to know about dr bitch and her class let me know because i will definitely film that for you guys so first up on the list is bioevolution and diversity i made a d but a d is passing for this class so i passed it and it was worth three credit hours that was the only class that i was kind of pissed about i would have wanted to have a c because it would have brought my gpa up a lot more and it would have boosted my confidence a little more i have a d in that class and then i had the bio lab and that was one credit hour and i came out with a b um i had exploring learning and teaching this was before i switched my major so this was for my old major but i made an a and it was worth three credit hours i had an intro to math modeling class and i made a B and that was worth three credit hours and then I had a shape note singing and that was worth two credit hours and I came out with the A and then I had the keys to college success class which was worth two credit hours and I came out with a A. So my semester GPA is a 3.07 which is rounded up to a 3.1 and my overall GPA is a 2.37 which is not rounded up to a 2.4. Not the best GPA I know a lot of people have like 4.0s and 3.9s but my overall GPA is a 2.4 and that is way better that I almost went up a full point from a 1.6 but yeah I just wanted to tell you guys that everybody's life is not perfect everybody's academic life is not perfect I know a lot of people show their academic life on YouTube and they're really productive and they come out with great grades and all this but I just wanted to show you guys my perspective because I'm not your typical smart YouTuber. That's really all. I talked for 20 minutes. This video is probably going to end up being like 13 minutes so. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video and I can produce more videos like this. Also leave a comment of summer video ideas because I'm running out of them and also make sure you are subscribed because i'm trying to reach 100 subscribers before the end of may um and we're at 62 subscribers so 40 no 30 38 more <laughs> remember you are love you are worthy i will talk to you guys in the next video peace